Hi everybody, and it's been a while. I've done two and a half weeks of late duties and they have literally destroyed me. I am so destroyed. Luckily enough, I've got two nights off now. This is my last shift tonight. I've come back to an area in Hangleton. I came here quite a few years ago now, investigating someone called Thomas Kuiper. He was the Hangleton Hangman in the 1700s. Now, I believe I misjudged him. Um, I accused him of all sorts of stuff and the whispers I received, I deserved, basically. Because in today's world, what he did would be considered bad. But back then, it was considered normal. It was the way of justice, um, hangings, torture, basically making the guilty pay. Now, anybody that was misjudged, that was innocent, I prayed here before and hopefully they crossed over. But I'm going to walk around this little area and walk and talk to Thomas Kuiper because I feel I owe him an apology because times are different now to back then so hopefully he'll be polite <laughs> as I am trying to be um, I sincerely hope that he did cross over when I prayed here and uh, we shall find out anyway so let me flip you around guys I've got one torch, I've got one phone on me for the apps, and uh, let's go. Okay guys, please excuse if the picture's a bit shaky. I'm holding both the camera and the torch in one hand so I can uh, activate the other phone should I need it. Now, there are houses just over there and I believe there is a house behind here. Not sure of the year but it looks very old. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this one just here. Don't really want to shine torches in the windows. <laughs> but uh, this area, I was walking along this grass bank. It was in the summer months and I got absolutely inundated with bugs. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just stick to this area and talk to Thomas Kuiper. Let's see if he'll answer me. Hmm. So, Thomas, Thomas Kuiper, can you hear me? My name is Paul. I came here quite a while back. And I was accusing you of misjudging people. And today I find that I was wrong. Because times back then were completely different to how they, how they are now. Today, if you commit a crime, you're not executed. You're put in a prison to rot for 10 to 30 years. I'm not sure if you would call that judgment. But a lot of people would call it an easy life now because they get TV, three meals a day, and all paid for by the tax man. Sorry, the taxpayer. I 
I think you'd have a few things to say about that today, wouldn't you? I don't know if you know, the year is 2023. We're coming to the end of it now. When you was around, it was 1700s. Never been up this way. Let's have a look. Benfield Valley. Let's see where this goes. Right, I will try and balance you now so I can fire up the app on the other phone. Oh, there is a way down there. Right, bear with me a sec, guys. Get rid of all these notifications and fire up Ghost Tube. And we're away. Right, over the past couple of years, I've been losing bits and pieces, like torches, um, stuff that would help me connect stuff to my camera holder. So in the new year, I will be updating all that. It's just basic wear and tear, I suppose. It all wears out, breaks, gets thrown away, gets lost. <laughs> Thomas Kuiper, can you hear me? Diseased. Diseased? Do you mean plague? I'm not sure how he died, guys. I think it was some sort of disease. Was it cancer? Oh, this, feels really, this feels really creepy up here. <laughs> Thomas Kuiper, I seek communication with you now. I wish to apologise for the things I accused you of. I mean you no harm or disrespect. What you did back then, you thought was right, you thought was justice. I was, I was naive and I'm still learning. Bribed. What's that? Bribed? Who was bribed? Oh, I dare not walk too far because I might get lost. My car's parked over there. <laughs> Benfield Valley, it sounds familiar, so it must lead up to Sainsbury's somewhere around here. Must be over that way. It's virtually a clear night, guys. A few clouds, but lovely stars. This is the first dry night that we've had in over a week. Anne. Hi, Anne. Oh, that feels really moist. I better not step through that. Let's walk on the grass. Thomas, Thomas Kuiper, I know you don't understand technology, but in my right hand is a mobile device. It's listening for you to speak. It should repeat what you say. I want to get across there. What I have to do is walk around. You get that impression that you're going to be jumped up on. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Thomas, did you have children? 
was you married? Can you say children? Quickly. Quick. What do you mean quickly? You was married quickly. Just get the impression that someone's going to jump out on me, you know. Thomas, as you know, I go around attempting to help souls that may be lost or stuck. And what I do is talk to these souls and try them and try and get them to see what's holding them behind. And hopefully they will ascend. If you are being held in judgment for any reason and that you're stuck here and you walk these lands, is there any way that you can let me know? Very gulpy. Oh, nice big spider web there, so I'm going to walk through <laughs> with a camera. Don't really want that across my face. There's quite a few of them down here. Move it. Move it? Move what? Who's with me now? Is it Anne or Sandra? Hi Rick. Never had that name come through before. It's nice to meet you, Rick. My name is Paul. How many souls reside here? I have done videos here before, or close by. I helped two women that were murdered near Sainsbury's in Port Slade. Janet. Hi Janet. I have to check up the names. I can't remember them. I've done so many videos, guys. Well, I shall walk down a little way and then turn back. Thomas Kuiper, hear my call. I serve God in all things, and I know you did too. I'm not sure if you had to be forgiven for all the lives that you took, for all the justice you did. Hmm. That was a footstep right behind me. Thomas, is that you? Scream. Scream? Was somebody attacked down here? Thomas, you would have a, a field day in today's world. The amount of crime. If hangings were still going on, you'd be doing hundreds per day. Leave it. Leave what? Look at my camera. So my whole head's covered in spider webs. <laughs> Dead. 
devil. What about the devil? Thomas, I recently discovered in a new translation of the Bible that Satan doesn't actually mean a person or like Lucifer. Karma. Karma. A sa Satan means an evil person, man or woman. Is that true? Or have they mistranslated it again? So if you were evil in life, someone was evil in life, they, they would be called a Satan. Hidden. Hidden. I do believe that there is a leader of all the evil. But I don't believe home. I do believe that Lucifer is worshipped by evil people. But that's not what he calls upon, is it? Where? Look, what I'm trying to say Lucifer was kicked out of heaven because he was trying to rule heaven. He wanted to rule earth. That doesn't mean that he wanted people to serve him. Here to s hearsay. so hard to get the words out guys it's like old scripture and you're trying to explain it in modern day language and Satan a Satan would be known as an evil person am I right? six six what do you mean six? Like Thomas, I don't want to. I don't want to push you into anything you don't want to answer. Humans were slaves. Humans were slaves. Yes, they still are today. Unfortunately, we're just paid for it. <laughs> we're slaves from the time we leave school until we practically die, serving governments. Paying money in taxes. We're taxed on basically everything now. How would you survive in today's world, Thomas? I don't think you would want to, would you? It feels like I've got bloody loads of people walking behind me. <laughs> Thomas, how many children did you have? Your own children? Sin. Who am I speaking to? Thomas, it would be fantastic if you could say your name. I'm going to be praying for you and any other souls that may be here. Would that be okay? You must trust and believe in unity in heaven. You must trust and believe in our one true 
Lord God. I would like you all to come forward now and pray with me. My hands have gone like ice. And on my phone it says 11 degrees. How does that work? <laughs> I'm going to stand in this centre part, which we would call a crossroads. My Lord, I call upon you today and I ask that you help any and all souls that may be lost, stuck only for you or being held against their will. I don't know how they lived or died but I ask you my Lord to help these souls to ascend to unity, to heaven to be with their families, their loved ones, to be out of this pain and darkness and in light and hope. Amen. Thomas, any other souls that are here? Please call upon your families now and ascend. Do not be stuck here. God bless each and every one of you. Leave it. Go in peace. Father. Father. Right guys, I'm going to get out of here before I attract attention with my torch. <laughs> Now I've just walked up here and already there's spider webs going across. Do you think they just fire it from one side to another? Like Spider Man. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Thomas, I sincerely thank you from my heart for speaking to me. And any other souls that may have spoken. God bless you and rest in peace now. Right guys, I'm going to cut this off and then flip you around because my hands are frozen. Oh, and if I can get, oh yeah, steps. That's handy. The floor is very moist. <laughs> Alright, let me flip you around guys. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's been a while so I may be a bit rusty. I sincerely hope that I've got some whispers on here. Be it nasty or nice, just as long as I've got something, you know. And, you know, I am sorry for misjudging Thomas Kuiper because at the time he was doing what he thought was right that was the law they broke it so they paid the fiddler anyway God bless each and every one of you guys and I will see you very soon as I've got two nights off <laughs>